Hi, my name is Stefan. I'm a math professional. And today, I'm going to be speaking on Newton's cradle and the equations involved with Newton's cradle. Now, what Newton's cradle is, I'm sure you, we've all seen it. It's a series of balls that are swinging. Usually, it's about uh, four or five balls. Now, basically, what happens is we'll lift up a ball and then release it. It'll hit the other balls, and then you'll have the ball at the end being swung. So what we see is the conservation of energy. So EI, that's the initial energy, is equivalent to EF, which is, which is the final energy. So we have swinging objects, kinetic energy. That's 1 half mv squared. It's going to be equivalent to 1 half mv squared. Now, all the masses of the balls are equivalent. So, therefore, the only thing that will be changing is the mass. So, you can uh, swing two balls. There we go, we're changing the mass. And if we swing, swing two balls, in the initial, then we'll see two balls swinging in the final, and so on and so forth. When doing this project, you could swing as many balls as, as you want. I've seen this uh, cradle done with uh, as many as eight balls, and you could keep changing the mass, but this equation is always going to be the same because of the conservation of energy. The initial is going to be equivalent to the final. And that's how Newton's cradle is explained with this formula.